Okay, so Anil had said, Bhagwan, can I come up? I want to take the contemplation further into dynamic realms. Okay, let's, let's see what the question is. No, sir. Namaste. Also, this uh, recognition that I am awareness, non phenomenal, uh, is pretty fine. And maintaining this awareness in this uh, dynamic realm state is also fine. Not a problem. Now, the thing is that what is my relationship as awareness with this consciousness? I do not know. I do not know what is my relationship as an awareness with this visible world, this dynamic world, it is so easy, you know, uh, from the learning is that I am the witness of this and this is all appearing in me, this is also fine, this is also fine, no, not a problem. Now, if it is, I am this dynamic field also, which of course is reporting to me and I'm aware of its reporting and I'm, I'm also aware that uh, it is reporting to me. So we can say this is only by uh, learning that the unmanifested I is the same as I am in the waking state. This is my learning actually and this seems to be an experience also but when Guruji says that you know you just stay in this self and uh, the supreme being or the higher power or the God or the consciousness it takes care of everything you know everything is just happening you know all these things are happening and uh, you are aware of it. So this means I, I as an awareness which is non-phenomenal and uh, non-manifested also is present in this dynamic field as the awareness also. Which means it is not, it is not something like you know that uh, something in which the three waking states are appearing and disappearing, it's not like that. It means that the consciousness and awareness is now here and now. It is not that only the consciousness is here and now, but awareness is also here and now. There is just a little subtlety actually. It's not that, you know, the awareness is right, you know, somewhere there in the sky and I am here as the consciousness. It is not yeah. a special, it is not yeah. a special. So, every activity is happening and because of the knowing, because of the uh, power of knowing or the awareness, I know that it is happening. Yeah. If I am the consciousness, if I am the consciousness and if, my, if I am the Godhood, then, then there is no doership from my end. There is no doership from my end. But I can only claim it once I am totally free of my egoic nature. Otherwise, there is a blend of the ego in the consciousness. So I cannot say that, you know, okay, I'm consciousness and this is not my responsibility actually. You know, this is the responsibility of my human nature. Like, you know, Nisargita uh, Tamara says, my human nature. As if, you know, my human nature, I just want to say, okay, close my eyes because the cat is there, the pigeon will not survive. So it cannot be like this. This conditioning or the egoic thing, it will go on, on its own. I'm coming to satsang, okay, I'm surrendering to Guruji, and this is happening also. This is happening also. No, with all this understanding, what is my relationship as an awareness to consciousness? 
if i maintain my awareness and if i don't bother about what is happening actually to the consciousness which i have a choice i can just close my eyes to this world but what will not know what will not know if i am not doing anything which i am supposed to do in this world at the most people will say see he is a useless fellow okay he is not responsible you know you cannot rely on this but i know actually it is my choice if it is my choice a conscious choice then no consequences of action or inaction is valid <laughs> okay let's pause here let's pause here lots of points so first point which we want to look at is a simple point which is what is the relationship of awareness with this dynamic aspect consciousness is the same as saying what is the relationship of i with i am it is i itself which is am you see so it is not just a relationship it is the basis of consciousness which is awareness you see so that's why and not to take these words literally because that can be level confusion that when we say awareness is the father of consciousness it doesn't mean that it gave birth to a child and now there are two of them it is i itself which is am you see i is playing as am is therefore not a relationship but i is the basis itself of consciousness therefore awareness must be the basis of consciousness that which consciousness is made up of and you said very rightly that you you can hear all these words all this understanding can be there this learning can be there but ultimately it is not this learning which helps you so as you stay like you have been doing very well keep coming to satsang and surrender everything at the master's feet then these insights become clearer and clearer and then we go beyond just the learning and understanding mentally of concepts and then it is seen that this is really an insight it is i i am you see so i is the unchanging then am and then other states were not am so when i say for example that waking sleep and dream are coming and going within this i which means that this i which is the basis for am or not am plays as am and when it plays as am then there is waking and dream and it is when the dissolution of this am happens that is sleep easy so also in terms of what maharaj said again he is speaking he has spoken various things all of us have spoken various things but what can seem confusing of about confusion sometimes it is speaking personally oh i like to eat pasta for lunch you see so obviously it cannot be awareness which is saying i like to eat pasta for lunch it is that amness this beingness playing with all the conditioning which has a preference for a particular type of lunch then we can say that i am that i am i am the space in which all the phenomena is functioning working all of this is moving through me in the space of being you see so from this perspective we can say that i just am and this human play is allowed to play in itself because there is no individual entity or doer of that this is what maharaj was pointing to you see and from the perspective of awareness you see so now when you say that i can just be awareness and therefore be unconcerned with the world it is we are talking about to something which is separated by levels you see in the play so because that which is participating in the world is part of the appearance part of this realm of being this phenomenal play you see so awareness cannot open or close its eyes it is the appearance of this body of anil which is opening or closing the eyes it is the appearance of this body mind of anil which people will call words or say useless or very useful or great or whatever but awareness is not participating in that way except that it is this being itself which is everything you see so when we when we speak of multiple levels in the same breath 
then it can seem like confusion. So what do I do? Is not a question that awareness is asking. It is not a question that consciousness is asking. It is a question that consciousness playing as Anil, who has come to all of this understanding, is saying now now what do I do with all of this knowledge and my day to day life? How do I integrate these two things? You see? So better to drop this, drop the Anil and stay as you have been staying and then you find that everything is functioning. The body mind of Anil is functioning along with the rest of the world just like the leaves are falling from the branches and flying in the wind. Who is controlling them? Nobody we can say in this realm but actually all of this is a projection in the light of consciousness alone. So what will happen through Anil's life where the eyes will be open, whether they will be closed is not something that awareness is pondering, you see. All the movements that will happen from here will just be another play of the light of consciousness itself. Yes, I think we captured the... Yeah. Yes, yes, I captured, I captured. <laughs> now, there's certain practical aspects to it. I have not gone out of the house for last 25 days. Not even the, out of the apartment. So, <clears throat> sub, I don't know why, I'm just not able to go out. I'm just not able to go out. I mean, even the, for a walk, I'm not able to go out. You know, I'm living on the 14th floor. So, uh, I don't know why I'm not able to go out. I'm just not able to go out. Uh, last what time it happened to? was maximum for uh, six. For six months, I did not go out of the house. Yes. My body used to shake. There was so much fear. Even the uh, you know bang of the door will keep my body trembling for 15 minutes. Those were kind of the sensitivities. Nice, nice. No. So like like this, I mean, uh, what I'm supposed to do now? Uh, just accept it uh, as the way the life is coming, or uh, overcome you know this. Uh, overcome uh, this, uh, you know, uh, the stuckness of the mind and uh, take the plunge out there. I mean, it is only in the mind. It is, o it is only a mind phenomena. So, what to do? Yeah. What I'm saying is that, my feeling is that both the surrender and the anxiety will not last, you see. Either the surrender will last or the anxiety will last. My feeling is that the surrender will last. So till then just surrender to the grace of Sadhguru Shri Moji Ji and through this body. And just don't make a judgment or a prediction or a, or a conclusion about it. You see, if it is the true surrender, then all that is auspicious will happen. You see? So, the dropping of this doership of what to do next is the surrender itself. You see? So, don't pin yourself to a particular perspective. Just don't know what the next day will be like and allow my master's grace to flow through you and everything will just be exactly as it is meant to be. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. <laughs> very good. Very good. I feel it's been a very beautiful satsang. And if you can drill down on the inquiry like we did today, I am aware. Who is this I that is aware? How is it distinct from awareness itself? And also I feel that 
in response to all the question uh, answers that came today. Also, the last one I feel is very useful because many times there can be these things like confusion of levels. You see, so sometimes we are talking about a different aspect, and and the mind says, but but your awareness. You see, whenever it comes to something personal and we want to look at that, the mind says, but your awareness. Why are you bothered about this? And when we want to look at awareness and just come to the recognition of who we really are, then the mind brings all personal things. So when we are continuing with satsang, we'll find that we are we are able to recognize this trick of the mind, and we are able to distinguish between where the question or the pointing is coming from, from which level is all dissolves. It's very good. 